how are you all i hope you all are fine at your home i'm jasmina parvin and i will teach you the class 5 mathematics i need your cooperation to carry forward the syllabus for pt1 course and we'll start our first session with the chapter 2 from your book roman numeral so you have got it in your previous classes let's come once again we'll pick up it roman numerals do you know from where it is originated the system originated in ancient rome there are seven basic rules is with a fixed value the roman numeral symbol are like i and hindu arabic numeral is 1 v is 5 x is 10 l is 50 c is 100 d is 500 m is 1000 but there is a thing this system does not have any symbol for zero this system don't have also place value system but there is a some rule we can follow the rules and can form a roman numeral so we'll discuss the rules one by one rule one is like that repetition of a roman numeral means addition only i x c and m can be repeated p l and d cannot be repeated no numeral can be repeated more than three times it's clear everyone so do you know which numeral about saying cannot be repeated more than three times that means i x c and m these are the numeral we cannot repeat more than three times all right everyone i hope you have understood the rule one okay we'll discuss some example now i that means one you know it and i i that means repeated the one number i so one plus one is equal to two i i i that means one plus one plus one is equal to three and x x x then ten plus ten is equal to twenty so like that only x if it is given x x x that means 10 plus 10 plus 10 so 30 but we cannot write l l that means v and l and d cannot be repeated so that we have to write c means 100 so 2 c means 100 plus 100 is equal to 200 same only if it is given in the arabic number is 330 so 10 plus 10 plus 10 we can write that means x x x so it is the roman numeral like that only if it is given c c c so repeated the number and repeated the number means addition so 100 plus 100 plus 100 is equal to 300 same case we cannot write p p also because v v we cannot repeat we cannot write it is not equal to 10 we have to write x is equal to 10 is i hope you have understood the first rule is it clear everyone now we will move to the next rule okay. rule number two rule number two is a smaller numeral written to the right of a larger numeral is always added to the larger numeral for example if we'll take v i that means addition and p is the larger number i is the smaller number so it is written in right side of the larger number so 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 like that x i so x means 10 plus 1 is equal to 11 x i i that means 10 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 12 l x so 
L means 50 and 10 means 10. X means 10. So, is equal to 60. Suppose it's given 58. How will write in Roman numeral? 50 means L and 8. 8 means we can write 5 plus 3. So, 5 plus 3 means V is the 5 and 3 means we can write I, I, I. So, L, V, I, I, I. Same only, we can take more one example. Suppose 20, 25. 25 also, 20 plus 5. So, 20 means we have this got it X, X and 5 is the V. So, like this, we have to act. Just I hope you have understood this rule also. Now, come to the next rule. Rule number 3. A smaller numeral written to the left of a larger numeral is always subtracted from the larger numeral. But, V, L and D are never subtracted. I can be subtracted from V and L x only for example v is the larger number i is the smaller number and it is written in the left side of the v so 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 it is this 4 you have used in your class 4 also but now you got it how you are making this formula of roman numeral now plus then next one is I x i x means x means the 10 i means 1 so 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 hope you have understood this rule also one more point is there x can be subtracted from l and c only for example x l that means l means 50 and 10 is the x is the 10 so 50 minus 10 40 I x c that means c is the hundred and x is ten so hundred minus ten ninety and more one point is there c can be subtracted from d and m only because d and m is the larger number than c so c d that means five hundred minus one hundred is equal to four hundred but we cannot write c c c this we can write c c c but we cannot write four times of c it's the maximum number till we so c m 1000 minus 100 is equal to 900 all right everyone now next come to the next rule four when a smaller numeral is placed between two larger numerals then it is always subtracted from the larger numeral immediately following by it suppose x i v so x means 10 plus v v is the larger number i is the smaller number following by it so 5 minus 1 4 10 plus 4 14 one more example c x i v so 100 plus 10 iv means 5 minus 4 1 so 100 plus 10 plus 4 1 1 4 that means 114 is it clear i hope all of you have understood this rule also this all four rule once again you can go through your books also so is it clear everyone i hope you will you have understood all the rules and next class we will do that exercise problem thank you all stay healthy stay at home